So today we're getting um, our burn pile ready. It'll be our first controlled burn that we've done here on property. And uh, we've, we've um, kind of looked at the conditions. It's a little bit breezy, but uh, our neighbors are burning also and we'll be outside all day. So we think we can watch it. Um, we're gonna make a video to share with you how we're prepping the area and how it goes today. We're definitely not doing as big of a pile as we probably could. We've got about uh, four more piles that we could add to this, but you know, we're, we'll be outside all day. We just wanna um, get this pile going and then uh, we'll probably do another one next weekend that we can get everything else into. But we've, this'll probably be the beginning of a long process. trying to get at least 10 foot around our pile you know cleared <clears throat> it would be good if it was just dirt but we'll have a little bit of grass it should be fine this will be a nice wide wide area um, so uh, it, it prevents any flames from jumping to the higher grass and causing an uncontrolled burn that's what we don't want so we're just getting this ready and then hopefully once this is ready, we can do a couple more weekends without having to do, you know, any of this tractor work. Uh, so this is about done. We'll start to get the fire going here in a minute. green it's burning the colors are insane win wins Winnie stay here So that didn't take very long. It's uh, never having done a controlled burn before. It's a little bit scary when those flames are, you know, 10 feet above your head, but we're all at a safe distance. It looks like uh, some of the pile, the heat's already burned out a little bit, but uh, all the stuff, wherever the flame goes to the new part, that's where it's kind of raging uh, high, high flames. So this actually might not burn as long as I thought. I thought we might be tending this fire for hours, but it's going pretty quick. We gotta watch it. Just make sure that uh, the wind doesn't come up and blow this anywhere. All these trees are crispy since it's winter, so we're keeping an eye. Yeah, it's only been a few minutes. You can see that it's only been about 10 minutes. You can see the heat coming off the fire. Winnie, get away. She's so curious. So Rob said when he came out here to push the dirt around and get everything into the pile, a bunch of mice came out. So I wish I had gotten that on video, but uh, just got a little bit of active flames on this side here. Um, but everything looks good. So much of it is gone. Just to, you know, conclude on our day here, we might do some more fires. We might not. We're kind of watching the wind. Um, the one thing that was good to know beforehand was definitely to, you know, give it a good 10, 10 foot of dirt around it. We can definitely see how flames would have very quickly jumped to all this dry grass. So that was a good thing that we did beforehand and um, also watching it, making sure you have some buckets just in case it does jump to a, a dry tree or, or something. So we've been lucky, but uh, um, overall good, good result. We've got a ton more to burn uh, as we clear. We've got 11 acres, um, about you know six of it is pretty heavily wooded and we're trying to make it usable land. So we've got quite a bit, but as you can see behind me, it's, it's going well, it's been safe, everything was, um, uh, 
uh, you know, where it was supposed to be, so that's always good. And, um, you know, comment uh, down below if you've uh, worked on a controlled burn before and if you have any tips for us. We're always uh, happy to learn more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.